The 22nd plenary meeting of the General Assembly is called to order. The General Assembly will consider Agenda Item 71, entitled Request for an Advisory Opinion of the International Court of Justice on whether the unilateral declaration of independence of Kosovo is in accordance with international law. I now give the floor to His Excellency Mr. Vuk Jeremic, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Serbia, to introduce the draft resolution in document A63. L2. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished representatives, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce the resolution proposed by the Republic of Serbia contained in document A63L2. My presence here today as the Foreign Minister of Serbia signifies the importance that my country assigns to this issue. On February 17, 2008, the provisional institutions of self-government of Serbia's southern province of Kosovo and Metohija unilaterally declared independence. Our democracy responded with maximal restraint. We ruled out the use of force and the imposition of economic sanctions against the breakaway province. Serbia decided to defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity through diplomacy and international law. I now give the floor to the representative of the United Kingdom. Mr. President, uh, <clears throat> thank you for giving me this opportunity to address the General Assembly on this issue. Uh, distinguished colleagues will be aware of the letter I wrote to you, sir, on 2 October, enclosing a note of issues raised by the Serbian request for the General Assembly to seek an advisory opinion from the International Court of Justice on the legality of Kosovo's de declaration of independence. Let me start by making clear that the United Kingdom is a strong supporter of the International Court of Justice. We have for many years accepted the Court's compulsory jurisdiction. We are one of only 65 states with a current optional clause declaration under Article 36.2 of the ICJ statute, giving the Court jurisdiction over a wide range of matters. We support the use of the Court by member states to resolve their disputes and the right of United Nations institutions to seek advisory opinions on questions affecting the performance of their functions. Why, you might ask, are we now raising questions about the Serbian request? The reason is that the Serbian request is primarily for political rather than legal reasons. The voting has been completed. The machine is locked. Tenemos a favor 70. We have 77 votes in favor, six votes against, and 74 abstentions. <laughs> 